So what's good YouTube man, it's Gary with the other fan TV back at you on this video at the kind of say this video or just smash that like button at the content of this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Look, we're gonna get into that Ravens injury report. Uh, we're gonna get into the Ravens signing Sam Watkins and all of that. But let's just do the Ravens injury report real quick and get that um over and done with, okay? Now, um as far as my who returned to practice, not Lamar Jackson, okay? Uh, but Josh Rosh, a preseason star linebacker. I made a lot of plays in preseason. He's back out there practicing, so good for him. Good to see doing that. Um, but let's get into the people who did not practice today. Uh, Calais Campbell, knee injury, so did not practice. J.K. Dobbins, rest. Justin Houston, rest. Lamar Jackson, knee injury. Uh, Morgan Moses, rest. Marcus Peters, calf injury. Ronnie Stanley and Kevin Zeitler, both rest. Now, Ravens got a lot of players on there that's rest, so that's good. Um, nothing to be worried about on that front. The worrying news of the day is, uh, besides Lamar Jackson not practicing, is the fact that Devin Duvernay seemed to have hurt himself in practice. Uh, NFL Network's Tom Pellicero was reporting the fact that Devin Duvernay could have suffered a significant foot injury in practice today. And um, if it's significant, that, that probably will end this season. But, you know, we'll wait till we get some more news on that. But Devin Duvernay was listed as limited in practice uh, because he had to leave you know, during practice, okay? So, once we get some more news on that, you know, obviously they won't know more. Um, but, besides that, uh, the Ravens signed Sammy Watkins, okay? Um, it's another band-aid fix to a very, very big um, scar, a very, very big gash open opening that the Ravens have, but they're trying to paper over it. Uh, so, he goes right to the active roster, I believe, because he was already on IR at some point during this season with the uh, Packers. So he's not eligible to go to like the practice squad and stuff like that. I don't know. So um, anyway, um, let's look at what Sammy Watkins has done this year so far. Uh, nine games, started three of those games, 13 catches, 206 yards, uh, no touchdowns. So the big thing about Sammy Watkins is, is not the fact that um, I think he's a trash player or anything like that. It's the same thing that's always been an issue with Sammy Watkins. He can't stay on the field. Um, like I said before, he spent part of this season on IR. So now the Ravens have an injury to a wide receiver, Devin DuVernay, and sign a guy who's even more injury prone, more injury prone, excuse me, and uh, Sammy Watkins. So I don't see how that's really going to help very much. If he can give the Ravens some good time, some, some good plays, then I guess it's worth it. Um, the Ravens are at the point in the wide receiver position where they're just trying stuff, seeing what, throwing stuff at the ball, see what sticks. In my opinion, I'd rather see guys like Benjamin Victor get some more time. I'd rather see Shamar Bridges see what he can do. Where is Andy Isabella at? Is he in hiding? We signed Andy Isabella for his speed threat element, right? And then we go out and sign Deshaun Jackson. Why? And there's not even nothing against Deshaun Jackson because he's been he's been decent for, since since he's been here. He's been decent, but it's just the fact that the Ravens have made these moves at wide receiver to change nothing. Right, we still see the game, same guy. We still see the same style of offense. Um, so that's frustrating. But um, as far as the uh, Ravens injury report, man, like a lot of guys are just rest. Uh, Lamar Jackson obviously has a, has his knee injury. Um, Calais Campbell has a knee injury. Marcus Peters has his calf injury. So we're going to wait and see about what those guys. Okay, if I had to guess, Marcus Peters was already kind of announced by Ian Rappaport yesterday that he'll be out a short period of time. So I don't expect him this Saturday versus the uh, the Falcons. Lamar Jackson is the interesting one because he could practice tomorrow, he could practice Thursday, and then be good to go. You know what I mean? Um, but we'll see. He has to get out there on the field first. Um, obviously, he's not going to rush himself back. I'm not asking him to rush himself back. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I guess the only good news, I, I guess the good news I'm saying for the injury report is that the offensive line, even though there's three offensive linemen on here, it's all rest. You know what I mean? The guys are going to be back. J.K. Dobbins, big part of the run game has been the I think 245 yards over the last two weeks. So that's major, obviously. He's on there as rest, so that's good. Um, so, you know, with the Ravens, it's, um, it's a lot of kind of negative news right now at the moment, so it's kind of hard not to be negative about it. But um, I guess the positive is, like, they have guys on here that are important players that are, are going to come back. On the flip side, though, you got to be honest with it. Uh, Lamar Jackson is a possibility that he might not play this week. Um, Devin Dooley, like he could be out for a significant amount of time if Tom Pellicero's report is correct. And the fact that, you know, signing Sammy Watkins is a very, very predictable Ravens move that doesn't really do much, right? Does it move the needle some? I don't think so. Um, 
Not to say Sammy Watkins has never been a good player. That's, that's obvious. He's been one before, right? But we're talking about right now, 2022, okay? Um, can he help the Ravens? I'm not 100% sure, man. I'm, I'm really not. Uh, but they signed him. He's on the squad right now. And that's what it is, man. You know, so that's the Ravens injury report for uh, today. You know, Sammy Watkins is on the team. Devin Green may be out for a significant amount of time. And Lamar Jackson did not practice. Um, those are the main three highlights from the day, man. So I'm going to get out of here, man. It's your boy Gary. We're going to the fan TV. I'm out.